Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Car Time with Tara. <laughs> hey, um, really, really fast. I just wanted to share, um, <laughs> the title of this is Inside the Mind of Someone Who Consistently Stays Fit, and it's, it's, it's me. I don't, I'm not trying to, um, toot my own horn here or, like, show off or anything like that. I'm just simply wanting to share, uh, for me, being able to find the mindset, how the little nuances of how someone who thinks thinks and, and, and they're successful in an area that I want to be successful in is like super valuable. So I just thought I'd share, um, I'm headed to Mexico in like half an hour. So <laughs> good thing I can get ready fast. I'm leaving the gym. Um, and I just wanted to share like last night when I went to set my alarm, I was definitely up later than usual. I was packing and freaking just nervous and trying to get everything arranged for work and stuff before I go. And when I went to set my alarm, it didn't even cross my mind to skip my workout. It was how early am I going to have to get up to make it happen? Like, no, there was no, maybe I won't work out tomorrow. That, that never crossed my mind. <laughs> I, I, because why? Because I know my day would suck. If I, for me personally, my circadian rhythm is so set. I'm so used to feeling alive from working out first thing in the morning that like, if I miss that, I, I don't honestly, like, I don't enjoy that day. I don't really love it unless I really need a recovery day. But when it's, I didn't need a recovery day and I just wake up about this level and I just kind of stay this level all day, my energy is not even close to the same. My production levels at work are not even close to the same. So, um, I just thought I'd share that. Like, um, if, if you're still in the stage where working out is kind of a, an option, I really encourage you to find a time of day that you always can do it. And guess when you always can do it? When you wake up before everybody else. <laughs> so like if you're waiting for that to come or, or you're still in that mindset where you're like, nah, I don't have time to work out tomorrow. Like, and you're not getting the results you want. That's why that, that little nuance in your mindset where it's kind of optional, everything else is going to start coming in front of it. So, um, when you, this is from my, uh, my mindset coach, Tony child, um, who also, by the way, I've got some of his stuff coming into hire now for my more advanced clients. So pretty cool. Hire is my coaching company. But anyway, he always says when you're, um, when you're, you have a choice and one of those choices, choices is something you value more. You will, your values will always went out. So like right now, if you're not consistently working out, like you're not, you just don't value it, right? So you gotta look deeper into that and why you're not placing that value first. I value the crap out of my workouts in the morning. Like they change, they, they change the energy of my entire day, right? And if you're in a point where you can't really work out because injury or you got adrenal fatigue or hypothyroidism and you're one of my clients and I told you you can't work out right now, <laughs> um, then like, at least walk, move, get those endorphins going in your brain. Cause it just totally changes your day. So anyway, I just thought I'd share that because like, I love like people who are more successful than me in business or relationships or parenting or, or, or fitness or nutrition too. Like I, I'm like, what are the little nuances in your mind? How do you handle that little situation? You know, I'll share another one. Like I've noticed that almost every time before I begin a set, I will do a body weight version of the movement and squeeze that target muscles to make sure that I'm getting them, to make sure that I'm in position, to make sure I got it, right? That's a little nuanced thing that <laughs> I don't really tell people, but I've like noticed that I do, right? So I can make sure that I am engaged and dialing in and squeezing those muscles. So the little nuances, right? If you find somebody who's more successful you, than you at something, like find the little nuances and how they think. I love that. I'm so grateful for that. That is like treasure from somebody else. So um, anyway, if, if working out is no longer optional, <laughs> your lifestyle, the way your lifestyle is built is just getting you the results that you want. That is always the key, right? You want to be building into your daily habits the little tiny things that get you what you want, right? So meditating, gratitude, writing out goals. Like how can you like quickly squish that into every day at a consistent time that you know what to expect and it's not this stressor of like, holy crap, Tara just told me to write my goals down. I haven't done that. I've been hearing to do that for like a year and I still haven't done it. Okay, 
Cause like it's this extra thing you have to do. So build it in to your routine. That's why I like morning routines and, and you'll get there so much faster because your lifestyle is just built around doing the things that get you what you want. So anyway, thought I'd share that. I'm headed off to Tulum, you guys, Mexico. Do you guys know I speak Spanish? Do you guys know I have a degree in Spanish? <laughs> For real. I was going to be a Spanish teacher before this, before I had my life changing fitness revolution. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a wonderful day, and um, I'm sure I'll be popping back on here showing you Tulum, Mexico soon. All right, bye.